TNA training in Lansing, Michigan. We have our newest member here. His name is Lucky. He is a, uh, just shy of three years old. He's a Border Collie. Um, he came to us. Uh, the owners has just have just rescued him. Um, previous owner had passed away, so they took him in. Um, he has socialization problems, as you can see here. My boyfriend is standing off into the distance. He's pretty focused on him and barking at him. Um, so we're going to be working on that. Also, they said that he is extremely stubborn. Um, and that if he doesn't want to listen to them, he won't. He knows all of the commands, but he really just doesn't do very um, well, especially socializing. So um, we're going to be working on all of his commands, making sure that he follows through every single time. Um, they said that he doesn't really pull on the leash, that they can actually drop the leash, and he always comes and hangs out with them. But um, still, they want to work with his socialization. So really quick, I'm going to go through the commands so that at the end of the two weeks, I can show you what he's got and um, how well he did. Lucky, come. Hi, hi. Sit. Good. Lee down. Oh, okay, kind of down. All right. How about heel? Do you know how to heel? Heel? Hi. Heel. All right, heel. Heel. Come here, heel. All right. So as you can see, he doesn't really know how to heel. He's kind of just hanging out by my side, going whichever way I tell him to go. He does know how to sit. He does know how to down. He doesn't hold it. Um, so we're going to be working on all these commands and especially his socialization, as I keep saying. Um, and I'm going to show you what he's got at the end of the two weeks.
of lucky, came to K9 off leash training with some pretty severe social anxiety. Uh, we just adopted him from, from a previous family. I don't think he got out much. I don't think he was socialized to the extent that he should have been. Uh, so upon adopting him, we realized he was pretty uncomfortable in most social situations, was, was anxious, would bark at people on coming, uh, any people we had over to the house. We're always greeted with a bark and then running away to hide for five to ten minutes before he would feel comfortable greeting him. So we brought him to the off-leash training and we were extremely impressed with Ashlyn and the constant communication that we received for the whole time he was gone. Uh, we received daily videos, text messages throughout the day, emails at night with a thorough explanation of everything that she had done, progress that he had made. Uh, whether it was noon or 8 p.m., Ashlyn was always available to answer any questions we had, address any future concerns that we brought up. And after picking up Lucky today, we were extremely impressed with how responsive he was. He already appeared, appears much more comfortable, much more confident, and, and overall appears like a happier dog. We walked around with him off leash around the neighborhood here. Kids were walking past on scooters with a couple dogs crossing the street, and he was immediately responsive off leash. And, appeared to have handled the situation extremely well. We're extremely happy and look forward to getting home to work with them.